Hello everyone, I'm Esteban Ordonez, Don Q's corporate mixologist, and we are here in Dingy Dock in beautiful Culebra Island, Puerto Rico. And we're going to be creating some Don Q cocktails for you today. First, we're going to begin with the Monkey Business cocktail. For this cocktail, we're going to need two and a half ounces of Don Q cocktail. We're also going to be using a half an ounce of Don Q Cristal. Don Q Cristal is the number one selling rum in the land of rum, Puerto Rico. We also need one ounce of coconut milk. Remember, coconut milk and not coconut cream. A good anise liqueur of your choice. A half an ounce of that in there as well. And we're going to just go ahead and fill this with ice. We're gonna transfer, make sure we get a good seal on that shaker tin. And good nice sturdy shake. We're going to use a highball glass to serve these on and we're gonna fill that glass with ice. And we're gonna strain our cocktail into that glass. For our garnish, we're going to be using star anise, but you can get creative and use anything you like. You can use uh, coconut shavings or even little pieces of coconut or some fruit if you like. Here we have it. The monkey business cocktail courtesy of Don't You. And now we're going to be making the Don Q Mixed Berry Mojito. For that, we're going to need an assortment of berries. Uh, again, it could be any, any of the berries that you like, berries of your choice, or just a variety that's seasonally available. And now we're going to give them a nice, healthy model. Uh, get all their juices in there, all that pulp, all that sweet berry juice. Add three ounces of Don Q Mojito. Don Q Mojito is our premium rum infused with natural yerba buena mint. So it is not a flavoring, but rather an infusion. And here we go with, that makes three full ounces our Don Q Mojito rum. One ounce of Don Q Cristal. Going to go ahead and fill this up with a nice amount of ice. Get a nice lock in our shaker tin and give it a sturdy shake. And we're going to fill up a glass with fresh ice so we can strain our delicious mixed berry mojito in there. That looks good, doesn't it? I'm going to use some fresh mint and a couple of skewed berries. And here we have it. The Don Q mixed berry mojito. Enjoy. And now for one of my favorites, the Que Bomba Daiquiri. It's actually a daiquiri made with uh, guanabana or sour sap. It's a uh, delicious fruit, it's got a creamy texture and it's uh, readily available in uh, most specialty and Latin market stores. Uh, we're going to be using the Donku Cristal for that and we're going to use two ounces of it. We're going to be using guanabana nectar and we're going to be using one and a half ounces of that and our half an ounce right in. Lime juice, we're gonna use three quarters of that we're also going to use three quarters of simple syrup. Now, simple syrup is just uh, one to one proportions of sugar and warm water. Have that in there. Fill our shaker with ice. Strain that into a cocktail glass. And for our garnish, we're just going to use a little nice uh, lime oil right there. And there we have it. The Que Bomba Daiquiri. Salud and enjoy. Hi, I'm Charles Jolie, Chief Mixologist of the Drawing Room in Chicago. But today I'm joining you from Club Seaborn in the amazing Culebra, Puerto Rico. And what better location to make a amazing daiquiri for you as well. We're gonna start off with a little bit of fresh citrus, some lime, and squeeze three quarters of an ounce. We're gonna add a half ounce of orange juice, a quarter ounce of simple syrup, a quarter ounce of elderflower liqueur, and then the star of the show, the Don Q Limon. Now this is flavored with key limes from the Big Island and is gonna be a great base to the cocktail. We're also gonna add a little bit of egg white to this cocktail, which is gonna build up a great froth on there. Give the drink a little bit of texture and body. You want to give it a good shake without any ice. It ties everything together and starts to build up the froth. Ice up your shaker and give the daiquiri a good hard shake.
We're gonna finish this drink off with a few drops of orange flower water. It's gonna put a really beautiful aromatic on top and then mist it with a little bit of orange zest. Not only is that gonna give a little bit of oil, but it's gonna make a beautiful twist for us to finish the cocktail. And that's the Flores Daiquiri. Cheers. Next up, we're gonna make a cocktail I call Del Toro. It's a very refreshing spring, summer drink. Anytime the weather's warm, this one's gonna cool you down for sure. We're gonna start off with some freshly diced cucumber. This takes a little bit of inspiration from the mojito, but we're going the savory route as opposed to using mint. We're gonna pluck off a little bit of fresh cilantro as well. It's a fantastic flavor. I like a little bit of spice in mine drinks as well. So we're using sriracha sauce. You can use a little bit of Tabasco or whatever other hot sauce you might like. And this is something that you can adjust the taste as well. We're gonna take some fresh lime juice, squeeze out about an ounce of this, pour it right on top. Then to balance out all the citrus, we're gonna use a little bit of simple syrup as well. And that's really, we don't want our drink to be too sweet or too tart. You want to balance it perfectly to your taste and then muddle that all together to extract the flavors of the cucumber, the cilantro, and tie in a little bit of that spice from our sriracha sauce. Add some ice to our cocktail. Finally, the good part, the rum. We're using Don Q's Cristal rum here. We wanna use the best quality products we can. Don Q Cristal is just that. Uh, two ounces of rum, add it to the top of our cocktail, and we're gonna roll it together just to combine all the flavors. Just that easy. Garnish with a little bit of cucumber, skewered with some cilantro, and you've got del Toro. Salud. For our next cocktail, we're gonna be working with Don Q Cocoa, their coconut flavored rum. This next drink is inspired by a classic punch. We're gonna start off with some agave nectar, which is a great way to sweeten cocktails. For our citrus, we're bringing in a little bit of fresh lemon juice, some freshly squeezed orange juice from some amazing oranges that we got from the market in San Juan, a little bit of Benedictine liqueur, which is gonna add tons of complexity and herbaceousness to the cocktail as well. And then last but not least, Don Q Cocoa. For this, we're gonna add an ounce and a half to the drink. Now ice up your shaker. We're gonna roll with just a little bit of ginger beer before we finally pour it into our glass. Anytime we're working with anything carbonated, we don't want to shake it because it'll flatten it out and spray it all over the place. Finally, for garnish, we're simply gonna take a little bit of orange zest here and squeeze it right over the top of the cocktail to aromatize it. That's the pious punch. Cheers. Hi, I'm Jason Luttrell, a New York City mixologist, and we're here at Mamacita's Bar and Grill in beautiful Calabria, Puerto Rico. Uh, today, we're gonna make the San Sebastian Sling. So, you start with the dash of bitters. It's got a distinct cinnamon flavor. You add half an ounce of grade B maple syrup. You could use grade A, but uh, it uh, tends to be a little bit sweeter. Three quarters of an ounce of fresh pressed lemon juice, half an ounce of 10 year old bourbon, and a full ounce of fresh pressed pineapple juice. Now, this is very important. This stuff is really, really good when it's fresh. It's uh, considered a sweetening element. Then a half an ounce of apricot juice. And then the most important part, two full ounces of Don Q Crystal Rum. Now you shake this drink and strain it over ice. And here we have the San Sebastian Sling. Enjoy. Now we're gonna be making the Flamenco Royale. Now this drink is very, very easy to make at home. Uh, it's simply a dash or two of bitters. Now, bitters add a lot of complexity to the cocktail. It's the difference between a good drink and a great drink. And then half an ounce of sim uh, simple syrup that's infused with cinnamon, half an ounce of fresh pressed lime juice, and half an ounce of pineapple juice. 
And then we're gonna split the base on this one. So it's gonna be one ounce of Don Q Mojito and one ounce of Don Q Cristal. And then you strain it into a chilled cocktail glass. Now the final step is just adding just a dash of champagne. You garnish with the lime wheel. And here we have the Flamenco Royale. Salud! Okay, so now we're gonna make the Bootsy Collins. Now this is a reference to the famous basis from Parliament Funkadelic. So all you do is do three quarters of an ounce of fresh pressed lemon juice, half an ounce of cinnamon infused simple syrup. Now it's it's just uh, equal parts by volume, one to one sugar to water, and then you just put a few cinnamon sticks up there. And, you know, 24 hours later you have a beautiful syrup. Half an ounce of elderflower liqueur, and one ounce each of Don Q Limon, and one ounce of Don Q Crystal. Now you add ice. You strain into a chilled Collins glass. Add some ice. And then top it with a little bit of soda. And this drink is a variation of a classic Tom Collins. And it is garnished with a lemon peel. And this is the Bootsy Collins. Salud! Salud! Cheers! Enjoy! From Don 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 Don